ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਦਾ ਸ਼ਹੀਦੀ ਵੀਕ ਔਰ ਸ਼ਹੀਦੀ ਸਪਤਾ ਇਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਔਨ ਟੁਡੇ ਦ 8 ਪੋ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦ 23 ਆਫ ਦਸੰਬਰ ਇਸ ਦ ਡੇ ਵੈਨ ਇਨ ਦ ਈਅਰ 1704 the elder sons of 10th sikh guru sahib sri guru gobind singh ji they got martyrdom in the battle of chimkaur sahab we will try to narrate the story of their supreme martyrdom in brief the six besieged in anandpur fort had to undergo extreme hardship due to the non availability of rations water and medicines on the other hand eight months of unsuccessful military venture had also demoralized the leaders and soldiers of the tyrant rulers as a result they started to find a face saving device to please the emperor aurangzeb what did they do they swore on geeta and quran assuring sri guru gobind singh that in case he vacated the anandpur fort along with the six they would not attack him and his soldiers after this evacuation they would also go away and be in a position to show their faces to the emperor aurangzeb guru gobind singh ji decided to evacuate anandpur fort on the advice of six although he had no confidence on the promises made by the adversaries and told them about his views guru ji accompanied by the six and his family members evacuated anandpur sahab in december 1704 ad they had hardly reached the bank of the river sarsa when the enemy forces attacked them from behind without caring a bit about the promises made by them earlier in the name of their holy books sahabzada ajit singh and part of sikh forces kept the attacking enemy at bay by engaging them in a fierce battle till guru gobind singh accompanied by other six crossed the river which was in spate due to heavy rains upstream later baba ajit singh and the remaining six two crossed the river sarsa and joined guru gobind singh ji later the flooded river took a heavy toll of the sikh lives by evening of the following day guru gobind singh ji accompanied by his two elder sons and 40 surviving sikhs arrived at the village chamkor thoroughly exhausted they quickly got themselves settled in fortis like house we call it gadi of choudhury buddhi chand and decided to face the approaching enemy forces there during the night enemy forces encircled this gully in large numbers their numbers swelled to lakhs by daybreak when the enemy attacked the gully in the morning sri guru gobind singh and his disciples kept the enemy at bay with the help of deadly arrows inflicting heavy casualties when the stock of arrows started dwindling and the enemy forces started coming close to the fortress it was decided by the guru gobind singh to send six outside the gadi in batches of five to engage the enemy soldier in hand to hand fight this amply proved to the world how fearless the six of the guru were and had loved not for their lives but the orders of their master when groups of six started doing and going out of gadi 
and fought bravely in afflicting heavy casualties before laying down their precious lives. Sahibzada Ajit Singh sought permission of his father to also allow him to go out to fight side by side the brave Sikhs. Sikh Guru Gobind Singh Ji was immensely pleased at this and he embraced his son. He himself armed his son and sent him out with the next group of the five Sikhs whom he considered no less dear than his own sons. To prove Guru's saying that he would be worthy of being Gobind Singh when he would make a Sikh so brave and fearless that he would fight with one lakh and quarter enemies alone. Coming out of the ghari, Baba Ajit Singh, the brave son of the 10th Sikh Guru, attacked the enemies, soldiers like a lion leaping on a flock of sheep to be cut to pieces. Many enemy soldiers were both astonished and terrified on seeing the fighting caliber and methods of attack of this young boy. The accompanying six prevented enemy soldiers from other sides from encircling the brave Baba Ajit Singh. After the brave son of the master exhausted his arrows, he attacked to enemy with his spear. However, the blade of spear which had penetrated into the chest of one of the adversaries, piercing his steel dress, broke inside the body of the enemy soldier when Sahib Jada Ajit Singh pulled his spear back. Taking advantage of this delay caused by stuck up spear of Baba Ajit Singh, the enemy soldiers were successful in injuring his horse which fell dead. The Sahib Zada swiftly dismounted the horse and pulling out his sword from his sheath engaged the enemy soldiers. While he was cutting the adversaries to pieces by lightning attacks with his sword, an enemy soldier successfully attacked the brave son of Sri Guru Gobind Singh with a sharp spear. The spear passed deeply into the body of Baba Ajit Singh. The brave son of Sri Guru Gobind Singh was fatally injured and his youthful body fell on the ground. He attained martyrdom under the watchful and appreciative eyes of his great father. Scores of enemy soldiers' bodies were lying in heaps around the fallen body of Pre Baba Ajit Singh. Sri Guru Gobind Singh was watching the brave acts of his son in the battle from the Ghadi. He had been keeping the enemy at bay by his arrows, thus providing his son a chance for prolonged fight with the enemy soldiers. The Guru was immensely pleased at the courage shown by his son and the tactics employed by him for inflicting heavy casualties on the adversaries. Sri Guru Gobind Singh thanked God for helping Baba Ajit Singh to live up to his father's expectations. The Guru thus proved that for the cause he was fighting, he would not hesitate to offer his own sons for sacrifice while demanding supreme sacrifice from his six. The six were so dear to him as his own sons. Thus fell the brave son of the great Guru providing inspiration to the Sikhs for generations to come. The Sikh community will keep remembering this young martyr, son of the 10th master for all times to come. Sahib Zada Jujhar Singh, the second son of Sri Guru Gobind Singh had been keenly observing from the Ghadi Chamkaur, the heroic fight put up by his elder brother. Sahib Zada Ajit Singh, again overwhelming number and better equipped enemy soldiers. The brave fight put up by his elder brother filled Sahib Jada Jujhar Singh with happiness and courage. No sooner did Baba Ajit Singh fell by tire, Sahib Jada Jujhar Singh requested his dear father Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji to grant him permission to accompany the next batch of Sikhs to repeat the heroic acts of his elder brother. He assured his father 
that he will not let him down and that he would attack the enemy soldiers and drive them away as a shepherd drives a flock of sheep. The Guru Father was filled with immense pleasure at the determination of his 16 year old second son. He armed his son with weapons and allowed him to go out with the next batch of five six. Once outside the ghari, the young Jujhar Singh fearlessly attacked the enemy soldiers like a lion while accompanying six formed a protective ring around him. Guru Gobind Singh was watching his brave son's deeds of valor and appreciated his courage and swordsmanship from top of the ghari. Even the enemy soldiers could not help appreciating the ferocity and smartness of the young boy. They had never seen such bravery performed by anyone at such a young age against mighty enemy forces. Sarvjada Jujhar Singh using arrows, spear and finally his sword followed numerous, felled numerous enemy soldiers. Headless bodies of enemy soldiers were piling up around him. The accompanying six were likewise putting to death many more enemy soldiers while keeping a protective ring around Sahajada Jujar Singh. After a long drawn battle, the enemy soldiers attacked the young Jujar Singh from all sides in large number, breaking the protective ring around him. Under the appreciative gaze of his father, and the accompanying six, Sahamzada Baba Jujar Singh put up a brave fight but was ultimately fatally injured and fell martyr on the ground encircled by heaps of dead bodies of the enemy forces. The way both the elder sons of Guru Gobind Singh Ji achieved martyrdom upholding the principles for which their father had been actively mobilizing his disciples, the Guru was able to show to all the Sikhs and the enemy that he did not value his own sons more than his Sikhs and that he would not hesitate even to sacrifice his own sons for the Sikh cause. On seeing his second son falling martyr like his first son, Guruji again thanked God for enabling his sons to live up to his expectations. There is no parallel in the word when a father had thanked God instead of weeping on the death of his sons in front of his eyes. The heroic deeds of these two elder sons of Sri Guru Gobind Singh will keep inspiring the young Sikh generations to rise to the occasion whenever called upon to fight for justice and rights against injustice and cruelty for all times to come. Thus, Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji sacrificed his dear and brave sons only to prove that when it comes to making sacrifices for the Sikh cause, he would not hesitate to offer his own sons to show the world that the six ideals alone and not his own sons were dearer to him. During this battle of Chamakar, the three beloved, the Pyaras of the Guru, Pai Jaita Ji, Pai Sangat Singh Ji and other disciples of the Guru attained martyrdom. The great Guru left the Gadi at the behest of his disciples in order to strengthen the Khalsa for eliminating the tyrannies of the Mughal Sultanate. There is no parallel to this battle of Chamkaur Saab where the Guru, his two brave sons and his 40 disciple six fought against the army of the lakhs of the Mughal Empire so bravely, so valiantly and ultimately got victorious. This is the supreme martyrdom. This is unparalleled martyrdom and this is the most imbalanced battle in the world where 40 disciples with their Guru Sri Gobind Singh Ji fought so valiantly. We salute the great Guru. We salute Baba Ajit Singh Ji. We salute Baba Jujhar Singh Ji, the elder sons of the great Guru. We salute the 40 disciples, the six of the great Guru who fought so valiantly, who fought 
so bravely for the cause of the mankind for the cause of the human kind thank you very much wahiguru ji ka khalsa wahiguru ji ki fateh